Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we are going to be addressing the fact that you've recognized that your baby doesn't sleep enough or your little one doesn't sleep enough. So we're going to find out why. Where is it in 24 hours that the lack of sleep is coming from? Because understanding this is key. So stick around, we're gonna delve right in. Okay, so in my last episode, we started talking about overtiredness and what, what that does and the effect of overtiredness. And so today we're going to fully understand where the overtiredness could be coming from. So if you didn't see the last episode, then feel free to click back and watch last week's. But today it's all about where is it actually coming from? Once we've spot it, we've got it. So where is it coming from? First of all, uh, could it be lack of daytime sleep? That's the first one I want you to think about. Is your child under three? If they are, then they probably do still need some daytime sleep. And don't get me wrong, sometimes they need daytime sleep beyond age three as well. But if they are under three, then it's pretty much a sure thing that they do need some. Um, and if that's the case, how much should that be um, at, this, at this current age and stage that they are? How much daytime sleep would be beneficial for them? And in what, sections like how many how many naps and how long would they be if if they're going to be doing the best sleep they can do so if we can understand that uh we can then understand whether they're getting enough or not and that immediately gives us a, a fixing point like ah okay my uh my two-year-old um let's say is having a half an hour nap in the day Okay, brilliant, we've identified the problem. It's not enough sleep for a two-year-old. We need to be aiming more towards the two-hour mark. Um, so we already can go, ah, oh, right, okay, that's what I need to do to help to fix things. It could be the amount, but it could also be the quality. So you might think, oh no, my target's loads of sleep. They get, uh, they get the exact amount that they need for their age and stage. But if the quality of that sleep isn't great, um, that could be the problem. It could be the, the timing as well. So what if they're getting the quantity overall, but the quality is poor and it's in little snatched naps uh, of light sleep and perhaps in their case, it's not restorative enough and, and the quality of sleep is down. Also motion sleep. So, you know, the sleep that you have on the go in the push chair or the car or on the move, motion sleep often won't give the same quality of sleep as a proper sleep space and you know ideal sleep environment. It can, but often it doesn't. So that could be the key and the thing that is causing your little one to be overtired. So these are all things that you can look at and explore to spot it with your little one. Where's that overtiredness coming from? Now I mentioned timing. The other thing with timing to look at is if they're awake for too long between sleeps. So sometimes people will tell me, yep, they're getting enough sleep. Um, and they are, they're getting enough. So perhaps let's go back to our two year old. Um, perhaps they are, they're getting maybe nearly two hours every day and it's brilliant, but they're taking that um, a bit late in the day. And so actually from their morning wake up time until the start of that nap time, if that window of awakeness is too long, even if they're getting the ideal amount of nap after that, the very fact that wake window is too long could be the reason for their actual overtiredness, even if they are getting enough nap. So timing does play a part in this as well. And I think that's something that can easily be overlooked or ignored because you think, well, yeah, but they get the sleep eventually. Yeah, but that wakeful, extended wakeful period may have already done the harm and caused the overtiredness. Okay, uh, bedtime. Is bedtime late, a bit too late or irregular? Does it move around a lot? That could be another reason for overtiredness, a bedtime that isn't consistent um, or that is too late for a little one. So quite an easy one to have a look at that. Um, most naught to six year olds, some seven year olds will do best with a bedtime around 7 p.m. That's if you operate um, a kind of a day in the life of where, you know, you wanna wake up between six and 7 a.m. Uh, maybe you have school or preschool or you're working um, and then wind down um, your, your evening meal or whatever and then to sleep around 7 p.m. Somewhere between the six and 8 p.m. for sure. Absolutely somewhere between six and 8 p.m. for anyone um, I would say naught to 10 years. Um, you may get a few on the older side that can cope with a slightly later bedtime, but generally speaking, from from naught to 10 years, I would say somewhere between six and 8 p.m. is gonna fit really, really well. 
7 p.m. is great, right down the middle. Okay, and the last one that you could look at in terms, if you're trying to figure out, you know, why is, where is this overtiredness coming from? I know my child's overtired, I figured that out in the last episode, but where is it coming from? Could it be disturbed nights? Do you have lots of wake-ups going on in the night, lots of disruption? Are they up and down? Are they, um, yeah, I mean, are they disturbed? Are they uh, having wakeful periods in the night? That in itself is going to cause overtiredness because not only do they lose those bits of sleep when they wake up, but the very fact that they're having them means that the sleep cycles are not thorough and they're not nourishing. We cycle through our sleep like this. And if they're spending a lot of time up here, they're not getting their deep nourishing sleep and having that restorative effect. So it could be the disturbed nights, okay? So um, have a think about those, see which it could be for you. And if this has helped you go, oh yes, it's that, then brilliant. Because you can then move on into my next episode where I'm gonna be sharing with you how to actually fix that, how to get them to sleep more but we don't want to go to that too soon because until we know where it's coming from how can we fix it so i hope you found this episode helpful i'll see you in the next episode in the meantime i hope you really do sleep easy thanks so much for watching if you've liked anything about this episode then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this if any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.